Stefan, it's uh, great to have a chance to visit with you here at the Agronomics Conference. Uh, I understand that you have worked with ASFMRA on their Leadership Institute program. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, Chuck. Um, so the Leadership Institute uh, happens every year in the uh, second week in September. Uh, participants, usually there's 20 to 30 participants come out for the week. Uh, the event is sponsored by uh, Pioneer DuPont. Um, for the first two days, <coughs> Pioneer provides uh, advocacy training. They bring in a trainer and they teach you how to make your point succinctly in, in a five minute time frame. Uh, and so they practice uh, and, and go through a full day of training. Uh, and then we spend two days uh, on Capitol Hill. Um, participants set up their own meetings with their representatives. They try and get to see both their senators and their congressmen. And what I do is I set up meetings with um, various uh, uh, representatives and as well as um, USDA officials, um, people who are in the know, who provide a lot of the set the uh, agricultural policy, provide the agricultural data. For example, this year uh, we met with Chairman Lucas uh, of House Agriculture Committee as a group. Uh, we heard from Joe Glauber, the chief economist at USDA. Um, we heard from an official at the National Agricultural Statistical Service about how they set their crop yields, crop surveys, so on and so forth. Um, we usually hear from committee staff uh, uh, in terms of what's going on at the committee, what their job's like. Uh, we also met with uh, Representative Nome. Uh, she, she gave a discussion. And then, you know, part of the trip is also just uh, to go out and see D.C., uh, see the monuments, visit uh, uh, the museums. There's a little time built in for that as well. And, and then finally, the farm managers spend the last two days they go up uh, to a farm in Delaware, Chesapeake Farms, part of the DuPont uh, Farms. They do a little clay shooting and fishing, have a crab feast. So all in all, it's, uh, you know, you come in on Sunday, go home on Friday. It's a great five days. It's a good, good way to learn how to get around Washington. Uh, we had a participant two years ago who had never taken a taxi cab before. Uh, so he got, got his first cab ride. Uh, you ride the metro. We usually the uh, meetings usually held in Ale Ale Alexandria, so you got to take the train into town. So uh, it's a great, great uh, way to visit and see Washington. So for those uh, me organizational members coming, it it helps prepare them not only to maybe be working into leadership in the organization, but also how they can maybe better. Uh, uh, come back and lead in their own businesses. Yeah, it's really, it's a professional development uh, program. Um, I, w I guess I would argue that anyone involved in agriculture, anyone who has their own business, um, whether it be the appraisal business or the farm management business, you need to be, you need to know your representative, you need to be involved because so much of what happens in agriculture is either regulated or a policy is set in Washington that will ultimately impact your business. And, you know, we're a representative government, and if you don't represent yourself, nobody will. Yeah, I uh, can't agree with that more, having found often in the ag work that I do that people kind of overlook how important the policy is if I'm out right. here growing corn or if I'm you know, raising cattle, it's, it's just as important for you to be very involved if you can, to the level you can. Absolutely. You know, 30 years ago, the government was saying, well, you can only plant so many acres of corn. You know, we changed that in 1996 with Freedom to Farm, and, and now we're farming for the market. But we have a long history uh, in this country where Washington is telling farmers what they can and can't do. Absolutely. So looking back to ASFMRA, before we close here, uh, just some words having worked with the organization and uh, getting to know some of these folks, uh, what would you say in terms of uh, the value that you see for these farm managers, rural appraisers, uh, consultants, uh, to, to become active and take, really take part in these education programs? Again? Well, if you want career development, if you want to talk to peers, find out what they're doing, networking, you know, it's a great organization to, to 
branch out, learn new things, uh, so you're not, you don't stagnate. And ultimately, if you're not learning something, you know, in your business, if you're not trying something new, uh, you're going to fail. Uh, you're, you know, and, and that, the value of an organization like this is tremendous. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Good words there from Stefan Ferrix, who was one of our presenters here at Agronomics Vision 2014. I'm Chuck Zimmerman reporting.